Hey guys, it's Irish again. Thought I would do another Linux Byte segment. So in this one I wanted to show you two net analyzers that I use uh, when I was on Arch Linux that I finally uh, found a way to get them on Gentoo. So the first one I wanted to show you was something called Slurm. So all it, all both of these are very similar. So right now, as you can see, uh, the Slurm is uh, just reading my up and download speed and then it will give me a nice graphical interface for this so to do this since I had an alias you would just do slurm dash I and then whichever you one you wanted to do and then it will show you uh, the cool thing about Gentoo I wanted to tell you guys in my last Gentoo video was in, in the portage tree at the time when I installed slurm it was at the previous um, at the previous thing so I called the maintainer and he had it updated within the next couple days so which was nice apparently there was a mix up in the upstream URL so it was really cool that he got back to me on time and uh, got it so the next one is called speedometer or speedometer or however the hell you want to pronounce it so this one is very similar uh, and it looks something similar to this. As you can see, it's very similar to um, s Slurm, but you can it has nice graph. So you could say 32 kilobits bytes per second, and it gives you a nice graph like this. And then whatever color scheme that you have for your system, it will show that. So in Debian and Ubuntu, uh, you can just do it straight out of the uh, your main repos in Arch Linux, Slurm, and Speedometer are in the AUR. But I did look for this exact one in uh, the overlays and in the main one. But as you can see here, uh, there's no such. Uh, no one has packaged this under Gentoo, so. Maybe if any of them see this video, they'll be able to do that, or whoever's on Gentoo can. So what you, so if it's not in your main thing, or you just don't want to do it from your repo, you can do it my way or this way that they have it here. So you would need to download and install URWID. So if we go back, type that in. Uh, URWID. As you can see, it is installed. It's uh, part of the Python part. Um, I did try doing it this way. It's as having you go into your local bin, but I don't think you need to do this. So I'll show you the way that I did this before. So what you need to do is download the tarball. And if we go into my downloads folder here, you can see it here. So I'll show you guys what to do next. So we're going to CD into the downloads folder. And if we LS, as you can see, there's the speedometer 2.8. So all we need to do is untar it. So you do tar XVF and then speedometer, and it will show it right there. So then we just need to go into regular speedometer folder. Now there's two two of them here. Um, initially I did the setup.py. Um, I installed it that way. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if you need to do that. So I'm going to try something really quick before I continue. So all we need to do is move this to our user slash bin. So I'm going to do sudo move speedometer by pi and then go to your user slash bin type in your password and then let's see if this works yep so you don't need to install it or anything so I'll quit out of this so the only thing so once you untar the tarball you'll see the setup so if anything that you need to do you can reinstall it um, so you, all you need to do is move your speedometer.py 
over to your user slash bin and if we take a look at my alias for this let me go back to my home so if we take a look at my alias for this you'll see it's not as fluent as the slurm because with slurm all you needed to do was say slurm dash i uh, and then your thing you want to analyze but with speedometer you need to do dash r for your up and dash t for your uh, for your download speed and then the dash b is for the background so you can look so you can look through it so it's nice and so you could see my background in the back but you don't need to do that uh, if you want any more information on it you can just do man okay or you can go here uh, I'll link this down down in uh, the description below uh, and also do the uh, the website for uh, speedometer or uh, slurm if you guys want to do it from that also, it, they also give you a nice uh, way to build this if you're not uh, on Arch. So you may have to do it through the GitHub. But yeah, here in uh, the usage, so the dash R is your network interface. And it will display the bytes received. And then the dash T is the bytes transmitted. So it's the upload and download. And then the dash B is to use the blocky display instead of a smooth display so yeah that's all I had for this one if you guys have any other cool uh, programs similar to this like BMON or anything else like that just give me a uh, give me a heads up and I can maybe uh, look at it and do another Linux bytes on this so uh, that is all I have I am going to uh, in my next video, I'm going to take a look at i3 blocks and give you a tutorial on how to set them up uh, and make it actually look a lot better than if you just did the normal i3 status bar or even, like me, put through Conky. So I will do that in the next video. Um, that probably will be, give me a couple days because I have a pretty busy week at work this week. So. I may not get to it until next weekend, but uh, yeah, I will do that in my next video, and you guys have a good weekend.